Hello and welcome to Interactive CAD and Tech. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to e draw equal points on a sphere in SolidWorks. Um, this has come from a request that I had on GrabCAD where I sometimes post these tutorials. Um, so let's get started. So firstly, if you've not seen my um, video on how to draw a sphere, if you'd like to click on that and just um, quickly go through the basics. But I'm going to start by drawing a sketch on the front plane and I'm going to draw an L shape. And then I'm going to draw an arc from there to there. And I'm going to put the center of this arc on the origin of the part. So just click both uh, points and click merge. Now I'm going to make this 60, let's have a look at not 61.5. I'm going to take it from there. So I'm just going to revolve this shape. So now I've got hot, the first half of a sphere. So to get started, what I'm going to do is um, create another revolve on the top of this surface that I'm going to use to drive the points. So if I go back to the front plane, Go sketch, and I'm just going to draw a square on top here, and I'm going to use the sketch from Revolve One as a reference. And what I'm going to do it because that's the top of the sphere, and so from there I'm just going to do it 4.75 from the center, and just 0 0.5 down from the center and 0.5 up as well. So that gives me the height I want, if I can click on it, there we go, 0.5. And then the length, oh sorry, I'm revolving this, so the length is just, so the length of this rectangle is just coincident with the center of the sphere. Then that gives me my fully defined sketch. So if I revolve this as well, around the center of the sphere, I now get this um, circle sticking up out of the sphere. So from there, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go to circular pattern, and I'm gonna pattern it around the base of the sphere. So I'm gonna click direction, I'll click the base of the sphere. I'm going to change that to 2 and the degrees to 10. And the features I'm going to um, revolve, sorry, the features I'm going to copy is revolve 2, 10, and tick that. So I'm going to repeat this process again and copy revolve 2 and do it 20 degrees around the same axis. So if I go back up to circular pattern, features features is asking me for the feature, which is revolve two. Direction is the axis, and I'm actually going to do 20 degrees this time. And I've just changed the direction there. So it's on the next, so it's the next one down. So I repeat, the, I repeat this process all the way up to 90 at the bottom. So I'm just gonna quickly do that now and jump ahead. So there we go, I've just jumped ahead. So just to explain what I've done there, I've circular patterned this top revolve, 10 degrees, 20 degrees, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and then 90, which takes me over the edge. So what I'm just gonna do now is, um, cut um, this circle off, so I'm just going to go to the right plane, just draw a quick sketch, and what I'm going to do is go to rectangle, and I'm just going to cut this off, so I'm just going to features, and then just extrude cut both ways, so go to through all both. So all I've done there is just cut off. So now when I mirror it, 
it will mirror correctly. So now you need to copy the same process again around the middle axis. So what you need to do is um, go to circular pattern again, click the middle axis of the sphere, and then we need to change it from 90, which was the last input I did there, to 360, equally spaced, and the first one is five. And I'm gonna select for the feature I want to pattern, the first um, pattern, circular pattern, which is there. So then it patterns evenly around the center of the sphere. Do the same again, circular pattern, select the center axis of the sphere. And what I'm gonna do is change the feature to circular pattern two. And I'm gonna make that um, 10. Do the same again, circular pattern, center axis. I'm gonna make it 15 and I'm gonna pattern circular pattern three. And then I repeat this process all the way down uh, until we have evenly spaced circles across the sphere. So same again, I'll just jump ahead and explain it again, just in case I did it a bit too quick. So just to go through what I've done there to get my circles evenly spaced on the sphere is if I go back up to where I started, just put the cut on. So I've done a 360 pattern of each one of these circular patterns around the sphere, around the center axis of the sphere. So just to show you circular pattern 10, I've done a pattern of five instances around the axes. So I'll do the same again, but the next one I've done 10 instances. And you repeat 10. So then 15. Twenty, twenty-five. Just to show you, twenty-five, thirty, and then thirty-five. And here at the bottom, where the sphere starts to even out, I've done it thirty-six, and then I've gone back to thirty-five. For this one so it goes 36 for the for the second to the last row and then for the last row i've i've obviously patterned the cut as well so i've cut circular pattern nine and the cut and i've patterned that 35 times again so now the next stage is to mirror this body so the revolve the both the revolves are merged together so all my patterns have merged together so this is one solid body so i'm just going to mirror bodies to mirror select the body around the plane and there you have it how to equally space out features on a sphere in solidworks so all these points are equal uh, equal distance from each other so you could actually add points if you wanted the if you wanted the points geometry and move them all along there is a bit of a manual process because you can only select create one point at a time but then you'd have points across equal fit, fit equally spaced on the sphere face i hope you found this tutorial helpful um it was a request um from a viewer um, if you if you've got any more ideas of any or any problems you need solving, uh, please drop me a, an email or a comment below. And thanks for watching.